Hello, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com and welcome to the sixth part of our character animation tutorial series for After Effects. In the previous parts of our series we started working on the baby buggy and ensured that the wheels rotate automatically when the buggy is moving. This time we extend the rig by adding some wiggling. We want the buggy to wiggle a bit when it is moving and the faster it moves the more it should wiggle. The main thing to learn here for building your own character rigs is that eye expressions is very flexible. You can link any behavior of your rig to other properties that can again be driven by other expressions. And in this example, we link the wiggling of the baby buggy for the overall speed of the character. For this part of our rig we use the simple wiggle eye expressions from the wiggles bundle to make the baby buggy wiggle whenever it is moving. The layer distant link eye expression to measure how far the character walked. Currently, when we move the hand goal of our character, the buggy follows because the baby buggy is parented to the hand goal. But when we move or rotate the baby buggy, the hand does not follow. But since we want the hand to follow the baby buggy when it wiggles, instead of parenting the baby buggy to the hand, we parent the hand to the baby buggy. As parent for the baby buggy, we choose the character master layer so that the baby buggy moves when we move the character. Now let's wiggle the baby buggy. We choose the basic wiggle eye expression, keep the frequency at 3 wiggles per second, and choose an amplitude of 1, which means to wiggle the rotation by 1 degree in each direction. Now we select the rotation of the buggy and apply the eye expression to it. As you can see, the buggy wiggles now. To make it look more realistic, we move the anchor point of the buggy using the pan behind tool. The anchor point is the point around which the baby buggy rotates, so we place it here where the two rods of the buggy cross. The wiggling looks good now. The only thing left to do is to link the wiggle amplitude to the speed of our character, since we only want it to wiggle when the character is moving. So instead of entering a fixed value of the amplitude of the wiggle, we want to somehow link it to the speed of the character. For this, almost each parameter of an eye expression has this chain link icon that can be used to link the parameter to another property. We simply select the position of our character master layer and link it to the amplitude of the wiggle. Then we reveal the options of this link where we can choose all details of how to connect the wiggle to the position. We choose to link it to the X speed of the character. This means the faster the character is moving in X direction, the higher the amplitude of our wiggle is. Now we apply the modified expression to the rotation of the baby buggy again. This is an important thing to remember when you work with eye expressions. Whenever you change parameters of the expression here in the user interface, this has no effect unless you reapply it. Now you can see that when the woman is not moving, the baby buggy also does not wiggle, but when she is moving, it wiggles way too much. We can adjust this by lowering the scale value of the link. You can play with different values until you find the best settings. For a simple character rig, this would already be good enough, but our rig is a bit more complex since it allows to animate the character by either moving the character master layer or by moving the ground. But so far, our wiggle expression considers only the speed of the character master and not the speed of the ground. So to fix this, we need to consider the position of the character relative to the ground layer, or in other words, we need to consider the distance between the anchor point of the ground layer and our character master. To calculate this distance, we use the distance layer link eye expressions from the linking bundle. Now we enter the name of the two layers whose distance we want to measure and set the parameter to compute the x distance. This is necessary since we only want to measure how much the character walked over the ground in x direction. Now the question is to which property we apply the expression. We need the calculated distance for the wiggle of the baby buggy's rotation but we can't apply both the expression and the wiggle to the same property, hence we create a separate property to which we can apply the layer distance link. We select the character master layer and go to effects, expression controls, slider control to create a slider. Like all expression controls, this slider has no meaning by itself and does nothing, but we can apply our expression to it to give it meaning. We rename it distance over ground, and with the slider selected, we apply the eye expression. Now the slider contains the distance that the character walked on the ground. The faster the character walks on the ground, the quicker this value changes. Now let's link the amplitude of our wiggle to this slider. 
We select the rotation of the buggy and click Load to load the wiggle expression from it. We remove the old link on the amplitude, select our new Distance Over Ground, and link the amplitude to it. In the Link Options, we choose to link the speed and adjust the scale again, exactly as we did it in the previous link. We reapply the modified expression to the rotation of the baby buggy, and as you can see, now it wiggles both when the character moves and when the ground moves. Okay, that's it for this part of the tutorial series, and I have to admit that it was pretty technical. You've learned how powerful and flexible eye expressions are when you start to combine several expressions. As an example, we combined a basic wiggle eye expression with the distance layer eye expressions to wiggle the baby buggy only when the character is moving. But this is just one example of this basic principle, and I'm sure you will find a lot of other creative ways to combine several expressions in your character rigs. In the next part, we add some final tweaks to our character rig by adding secondary animations. This is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com, and we'll see you in the seventh and final animation tutorial coming up next.